Hey guys, my name is Olo Brolo and welcome to a new Hunt Showdown video. Today I'll be talking about the upcoming patch 1.5.1, which is going to bring some long-awaited matchmaking changes. Before we get into it, please make sure you subscribe to the Inside Gaming YouTube channel, as we're going to be bringing more Hunt Showdown and Escape from Tarkov content very soon. To start off, Hunt currently uses a ELO-based matchmaking system that works with a hidden ELO value which you can't see. That ELO value will rank you in a bracket from 1 to 6. With the current system, the matchmaker will then try to match you with players from that skill bracket that you've been assigned. If there aren't enough players from your bracket in the queue, the matchmaker will expand the surge to other brackets until the lobby is full, meaning that you'll play against players of higher skill and lower skill levels. With the upcoming update, you will have the option to only match with players from your own skill bracket. This should improve the general gameplay experience, although it will also mean that your matches might not be completely filled with players and might have a longer matching time. If you disable the so-called skill-based option, you will be matched in a very similar way to how the system is currently implemented, meaning that it will still try to match you with players from your own skill group at first, but will then fill the game with players from different skill groups in order to reduce matching time and to guarantee a full lobby. Another new feature which the patch will introduce is the so-called trainee mode, in which new players will default to the new skill-based matchmaking, meaning that they will only face players in the lower skill brackets, although this might not apply when playing in groups, as you'll be matched of a so-called group rating, which is affected by all the players that you're playing with. Group matchmaking itself has also received some changes. The calculation of the group rating has been tweaked, although we don't actually know how exactly they've uh, changed it. And every group type will also receive their own PvP rating multiplier, meaning that a duo of two players with the same skill rank will have a different group rank than a solo player with the same rank. Now, that means that if you're playing solo, Without um, random matching on, you'll actually be facing players of lower skill groups, which we'll have to see how that works out, but it sounds pretty good. Then quick play will also finally be returning in the patch 1.5.1, and it will stay mostly the same than what it was before, meaning that it won't have any skill-based matching features, meaning that you'll be matched with players of all skill groups, and yeah, there's zero um, skill-based matchmaking involved. Last but not least, they'll also be introducing a PvP rating decay system, which means that if you're not playing the game for a long time, your skill rank will actually go down, meaning that if you return to the game after having not played it for a while, you'll actually be facing worse players or newer players. And I mean, in my opinion, these changes are very welcomed as the current matchmaking system is very inconsistent feeling, at least to me and I'm really looking forward to seeing how these changes will influence gameplay. I mean, it's also great to see Quick Play coming back. I've been really excited to try it out because the time that I've playing, it's just been disabled. Now, the update will be rolled out onto the test servers in the coming days, and I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have, please leave a like, and you can also check out our Discord if you want to get in touch with us.